The world is a more dangerous place for journalists. If you are covering street crime, you can be shot, beaten, or sexually assaulted. If you are covering armed conflicts, you can be caught in crossfire or killed in a suicide bombing. On a dangerous beat like crime, you can be threatened, attacked, or even murdered. And if you're pursuing sensitive political stories, you face the risk of lawsuits, imprisonment, or expulsion. In a fast-changing world, too, digital technology creates vast new opportunities for journalists, but it also enables violent and corrupt actors to watch, disrupt, and threaten your work. Today, more freelance journalists than ever before are covering major events and breaking big news stories. They often work largely on their own with little newsroom support. How do you navigate these changing currents? I'm Frank Smythe, the main author of CPJ's Journalist Security Guide. I've covered armed conflicts, organized crime, and human rights abuses in a number of different nations around the world. Our guide starts with the basics of being prepared, from obtaining credentials, to deciding your lodging, from knowing what to pack, to understanding what to ask of your editors. We move then to assessing threats and preparing contingencies. What questions do you ask and of whom? You can reduce risk in several ways, from planning exit routes out of a conflict area to establishing a network of contacts to help you if you run into trouble. My colleague Danny O'Brien writes about information security. He explains the sophisticated encryption tools you may need to use to protect your data. But sometimes you may be better off using common sense techniques. Anyone who's covered armed conflict knows that preparation is essential. What training and gear do you need? What are the rules of war? If you're covering street violence, how do you stay out of harm's way? More journalists are being wounded or killed in these situations today than in recent history. When covering a natural disaster or a health epidemic, you must pay equal attention to staying safe yourself. How do you prepare for such an assignment? It may not be obvious, but local reporters have always faced and continue to face the gravest risks. How do you know if you are being watched? How do you keep your family safe? And when reporting on dangerous assignments, how do you take care of yourself? In a dangerous and changing world, we urge you to be guided by four principles. Be fully informed, be fully prepared, take care of each other, and take care of yourself. We hope this guide will help you do that.